What's up, Real World Climbers? Welcome into my headquarters. I'm super excited you decided to click on this video and join me. Today we're going to be checking out another app for spray walls. It's called Crux. It's a relatively new app and it touts the ability for AI to scan your wall and determine where the holds are. So I'm pretty keen on checking this out. So let's go ahead and fire it up. So sign in. Uh, ask for select gym and looks like there's probably a lot of gyms that might be using it but I don't have a gym so I'm going to add a home wall and then wall banner image optional don't have a banner image as far as I can tell so let's go ahead and next what grade scale do you want to use? I like the B grades, but it looks like a custom. I could probably do like hard, medium, easy, things like that. But we'll go ahead and do B grades. So this is literally my first time logging in, so I haven't seen any of this. So the home page looks like it has some information from the creators. Climbs, no climbs so far. Leaderboard, that's pretty cool. Number of climbs set leaderboard as well. Settings. Okay. So let's go ahead and go into wall info. Unset all climbs. So start over. Like if I did a reset like I just did. Which by the way, if you haven't already checked out the video about my reset process here, uh, that would be great. I'll put a link down in the description, but make sure you watch it after this one. Profile. So I went in to add a climb and clearly I don't have a wall set up yet. So let's see if this sets up the wall as well. So upload from the gallery. So in my photos here, I've got several variations. I've got my 20 degree wall. I've got my 30 degree wall, but then I also have one that shows it all. That one. Let's try that one. So this is going to be one that shows both walls. So if I did want to bridge that gap in between, I could Let's see what this says. This is the crux image editor. You can use it to make changes to your image before posting Add high. The button on the right buttons on the right, allow you to highlight and annotate climbing holds. Crop your image. Okay. All right. And then I've got, one of my longtime projects over here on the 20 degree wall is my La Dura Roja. So let's go ahead and see if we can set that in here. Okay, so that's just what I know I believe it is. If you follow hands, tags, what kind of tags do they have? Juggy, kid friendly, traverse, slopey, crimpy, pockets. Okay, so some of the other apps didn't have all of the hold types. So to be able to say something is pockety. Um, pinchy, so I'd say it's pinchy, it's slopey. Hmm, draw on your image. Don't want to do that. Oh, okay, so I use that magic wand. And it's going to search my wall for holes. Okay. That was pretty fast. And then I can just cycle through which ones. Okay. So this is a start hold. And this is a start hold. That was, that's cool. I mean, that's pretty tiny for it to see that. And this isn't the best image. So when I took the photos for this, I did two different variations. I used my GoPro to get like the wide angle and try to get it all in one shot. And then for the individual walls, like the 20 degree by itself or the 30 degree by itself, I took it with my nice camera, the one I'm recording on right now and it was much better 
quality as far as like it wasn't grainy when you zoom in. This full span is off the GoPro, so it's a little bit grainy. Okay, so there's regular white, then there's foot, start, finish, zone. So regular white must be like the handholds. It's kind of off on it a little bit when it scanned it, but I think you get the picture. Pretty cool, I mean, that was really fast, the scan process. So then once I have a climb, looks like if I come up here to the three dots, I can share it with other people, I can duplicate it, and then like make changes so if I have variations, I don't have to start from scratch, that's kind of cool. Edit the climb, do all the stuff. Cool, share from here. Nice. If you favorite it, give it a heart. How many attempts? Okay, that's cool. Keeps I have just a attempt keeper instead of like waiting till I actually finish it and then having to remember. So that's kind of nice. I can just incrementally increase the attempts. That's something the other apps have not had yet. And let's just pretend here. It took me a lot of attempts over a lot of days, but let's just go like that and mark it as sent. So when I do attempt it, I can make adjustments here. When did I send this? I don't know, back in April sometime. I'm just gonna guess. Give it a star rating and mark it as sent. Got me some fist bumps. Nice. And then I can give it a comment. If I recorded myself, which I did, I can put a beta video in there. Where is that? It's right here. Okay. If I have other friends over that are climbing it and I record them, I can put that in here. This seems more like a gym thing, but it would be really awesome if the headquarters was popular enough to have a bunch of different people coming over. So it's almost got like a social media-esque feel to it, which again, if you have more people climbing at your home wall, or if this was set up for a gym, I think that would be quite cool. Now, if I come to my profile, I have some actual stats here. So all time climbs, so obviously with more climbs in here, I'm gonna have a lot more data points, monthly trends, sessions. Let's go back to April and see if I had a session there. Yep, that's cool. Climbs set, gallery. So things I've uploaded. Very cool. So what's interesting is, I think, it seems like every time I set a climb, I have to upload the image again, which might not be necessarily a bad thing. Obviously, it's pretty easy to do. Oh, it looks okay. And I also have, or use a photo from a recent climb. So it does kind of save my previous ones. Let me see what it looks like if I add in the one I went for for the 30 degree wall. So what's interesting about this angle is that I do have holds over here on the side, on the left side of the wall. And particularly, well, let's see what this scans here. Man, that was pretty darn fast. I don't know that it saw the stuff on the side here though, but AI did not really catch the ones on the side. So I think what I have to do is I have to do my own. It's not necessarily the one I just drew there, but there's a climb over here that I really like. So the ease of use is really nice. Like 
it really identified where they were. Obviously, some of the angles, like over on the side, it didn't really. But it'd be interesting or nice if in future iterations, like you could scan it and it would remember all of the holds for that wall always. And then also to have the ability to manually add holds kind of like you do with the BoulderBot app. So this climb that I just marked here, I have not yet completed it. I've done all of the individual moves, but it's really quite tough, especially this span between these two here, big shoulder move. So this is an open project at this time. So we'll call this bluish teal colored holds and just give that fun name there looks like it does have a randomizer that's kind of cool if I don't want to think of names for every single problem so I'm not even sure what the grade is so I'm gonna leave that blank for now um, so let's give this one some tags it's definitely crimpy um, it has a bit of a traverse what's interesting about it is the tags, they do have some good choices for tags about like the hold types, but also there's a few things like dynamic or overhang or something like that. But for instance, like tension or footwork or shouldery, you know, that would be some interesting tags that I think would be good in there. Let's go ahead and just post this one. For post grade, I have to. Oh, I can choose ungraded. So let's choose that for now. Very cool. I mean, I think I like this so, so far. So far, I really like this, and I'm gonna continue to play around with it and see how it goes. So one of the other things I really like about the Crux app is it is 100% free for home wall owners. There is a monthly subscription for commercial climbing gyms. There are some additional features that come with that subscription for commercial gyms. I'm not 100% sure on what all of them are, but I know that one of them is the ability for outside users to set climbs. So unfortunately for home wall users, there isn't a way to just open it up and say, hey, everybody go to my wall and set climbs, which is what I really liked about apps like the RetroFlash app. So that is a little bit of a detriment on the home wall side, but there are some great things still going on. For instance, it's 100% free and as many photos, or in this case, walls as you want. So you saw I already had one set up for the 30 degree wall. I have one set up with like the whole span of the wall. And obviously I can also do a route that is just my 20 degree wall. Let's move that to this one. So now I can have it scan that. And that's pretty fast. I mean, it's really fast. It's nice to not have to go in there individually. And I like the outlines a lot. Let's go ahead and set one that was called Myth Trait. This is one that we had on a previous video for me climbing things that you guys set there. And the original was, this was the finish hold. So this was Myth Trait set by Manuel Krager in a previous video. One of my favorite routes set by somebody outside. Since then, I've actually revamped this. All right, so now I've extended this to be even farther. And I've yet to do this one. This one is pretty hard. I think it's gonna be hard. So what I also like about it is if I go here now and I want to set another climb, I already have the three main photos of my wall that are ready to go. So I can just click on here and it has my recent photos and I can just use one of these. Let's say I want to go back to the full picture one and I don't have to rescan it. So it's still... 
I just have to select the tool, but I don't have to rescan it, so it still remembers where everything was. So let me know what you think. If you have a home wall and you're looking for an app, try this one out. It's 100% free. And there are some really cool features that are helpful for you to be able to track your own wall. And I didn't even really dig into like the metrics and the graphs, but it looks like that is another really cool feature as far as once you have established this is the one you're going to use and what you've climbed, what you've attempted, what you've been able to successfully climb, it looks like it does a great job of logging all that. I'm sure that the developers will continue to put features in and do more things. So, so keep an eye out for this app, Crux, as one of the big players in these spray wall apps. The one main feature that I think is personally missing is the ability for me to share out my wall and have other contributors set climbs from a distance on my wall. And the other thing that's missing, in my opinion, is the ability to manually add a hold to the scan if the scan missed it because of maybe an angle change or something like that and have that stay in the you know the scan in the memory right now the workaround is there is the pen tool and you just draw the circle around it i'll put links to the apple app store and the google play store down below for you to download this app so if you like this type of content i would really love it if you would give this video a thumbs up and I'd love to see you in future videos. So all you gotta do is clip the chains on this subscribe button. I'll see you really soon.